Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn to assign properties to members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. We are at the point in our workflow where we have actually completed assigning those properties and specifications in the physical model and we are ready to send our model data back to the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler in preparation for analysis and design. Now before we do that, we're going to go ahead and focus on a few of the different parameters or areas that you might want to take a look at before building your analytical model. The first area we want to take a look at is the integrity check. So in the physical modeler, you can perform an integrity check that will look for a wide range of issues that you might encounter when building your analytical model, including duplicate objects, overlapping objects, orphan nodes, warped surfaces, and zero length members. It would be beneficial to go ahead and address these situations before building your analytical model. To perform an integrity check, select the model tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on your integrity check icon. Within the check model integrity dialog, you're going to select all the areas that you want the program to investigate for you. If you'd like any additional information on any of these types of parameters, you can go ahead and show the help here, which will give you a better idea about what the program is looking for. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on the validate button. Now, if the program had found any of these situations that I have checked, it would be reported in the output pane at the bottom of your window. Here you can see that I have none reported, so I've passed the integrity check. Now, if the program had found any of these situations, you would have the option to go ahead and delete duplicate members, say for example, while this dialog is still open. So let's go ahead and close that dialog and move on in our workflow. The next thing I like to do before building my analytical model is to review my analysis model options. To do that, go to the data tab in your ribbon toolbar, and then you can click on your options icon. Now within the options dialog, you can go ahead and specify your units, analytical modeling information, visualization, and dynamic properties. We're going to be focusing on the an analysis model options. Here you can see that the program will automatically add intermediate nodes at intersections. It will automatically segment members and will automatically segment surfaces when the analytical model is created. And you can control how that process is performed through these options. After reviewing this, I have made sure that these top two options are checked. These are the ones that are most pertinent to the model that I have. And then we will go ahead and click OK. In addition to that, you are able to preview your analytical model directly in the physical modeler. To do that, we can go to the View tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to display the meshed analysis model. This will give you a good idea about what this is going to look like when it goes over to the STAD Pro analytical modeler. Now you are going to notice that all of the major commands within the physical modeler are grayed out when the analysis model is being displayed. It's because we want to maintain consistency between the physical and analytical model and you should really make any changes while the physical model is being displayed. To turn off the analysis model, we can just unselect that icon. You can see that the note has gone away and all the rest of your icons are now available once again. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save my model in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, and then I'm going to return to the Analytical Modeler. Now every time you return to the Analytical Modeler, the program will automatically go ahead and rebuild your input file and enter all of the data that was specified in the Physical Modeler directly into the Analytical Modeling platform for you. To start that process, we can go to the Model tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to return to the analytical modeling area.
Now the program has created my analytical model successfully. So we'll go ahead and click OK and automatically it's going to send me over to that area of the program. Now that I'm over in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler, I can go ahead and review some of the information that we added in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. So for this model, we went ahead and added all of our section properties. We can see those being related in the properties dialog. In addition to that, we can also see our material properties that were assigned, our specifications, and our support information. Now let's also go ahead and talk about your complete workflow while using a physical modeling workflow in the STAD Pro Connect Edition. Using a physical modeling workflow means everything from your model geometry through your analysis commands is going to be specified in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. For that reason, what you're going to notice is that everything within the analytical modeler, all of your commands, for example, are currently grayed out. That's because if you want to add any of this type of information, you should really go ahead and add it in the physical modeler. We do want to make sure that we maintain consistency between the physical modeler and the analytical modeler. So for that reason, we've gone ahead and disabled those commands in the analytical modeler and you should return to the physical modeler when changes need to be made. In addition to that, what you're going to notice is that your input file is also been disabled for those sections that are created from the analytical modeler, for those sections that are created from the physical modeler. To view your command file, you could select your utilities tab in your ribbon toolbar and then select your command file icon. Here you're going to see that the input file starts with a do not edit section. Everything within the do not edit section is currently grayed out. And this is the information that was populated by the physical modeler. Now, if you are using a complete workflow with STAD Pro Connect Edition using the physical modeler, again, everything from geometry through analysis commands will be specified in the physical modeler. Design commands will still be specified in the analytical modeler. And here you can see that those commands are currently available. They will be placed after those do not edit sections within your input file. Now, if you do get to a point in your workflow where you'd like to modify your structure directly in the analytical modeler and officially leave your physical modeling workflow, you are able to break the link between the analytical modeler and the physical modeler. To do that, you can go to your utilities tab and your ribbon toolbar and then ask the program to drop your physical model. It is important to understand that this is a one-time operation. Once you drop your physical model, you can't return to your physical modeling workflow. It might be a good idea to go ahead and do a save as before doing this official operation if you want to try to just stick with an analytical modeling workflow. Now at this point in our process, we have finished assigning properties to our nodes and members in our STAD Pro physical model, and we have built our analytical model to reflect those changes. At this point in your workflow, you would then proceed on in the physical modeler to specify your loading and your analysis commands before moving on to design. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.